Initially, since you were a big shot at Carlisle, what's going on with, with Elon Musk? What, what do you think is happening here? And what, what do you think he, he would get financing? Do you think he's serious? Do you think there's a need for an open forum that isn't um, evident right now or self-evident on, on Twitter at this point? Well, good morning and thank you for having me. And uh, I'm waking up to the news this morning on, the, on Elon Musk's offer, just like all of you are. Uh, and I just believe that this is another step of, of com competition. And at the end of the day, the competition for ideas is why America is great. And uh, we'll have to see how this unfolds. But I do think this reflects the fact that innovators like Elon Musk can shake things up. And, cool. uh, and I think we're seeing it all over that, that as folks bring new ideas and raise capital and, and uh, direct that capital towards uh, competing, uh, we're seeing things really move. And I'll tell you, Joe, this, this is what's happening ac across uh, Virginia right now and across the country as we see companies making big moves. And I think it's really exciting to see this kind of uh, innovation and capital put to work. We, uh, we, we watched your election closely, and obviously in Virginia keeps ranking very high on our CNBC, a best uh, state to do business, obviously. But a, a lot of, of what was evident in, in the race that, that you have eventually prevailed uh, were, were culture wars. And I think Twitter plays into the culture wars as well. And, and the, the whole notion that, uh, you know, that one side or another side is, uh, is more or less uh, there's a bias, an inherent bias in the people running Twitter on who gets to say things and who, who doesn't. And it just seems like it's all part of, of the, the, the state of the country that we're in right now that you certainly could speak to uh, based on, on what, what you ran on uh, in Virginia successfully. Well, I think it's time for common sense to, to be reintroduced to, to the discord. And I think what we saw last November was a state that had uh, elected uh, Democrats consistently for a while wake up and and recognize that it was time to reintroduce common sense. And so empowering parents to, to make decisions with regard to their kids' education. And by the way, funding law enforcement and supporting them as we see rising crime. And in a state like Virginia, where we had been 42nd in the nation in job recovery coming out of the pandemic, and we'd seen taxes going up and regulations going up, uh, we're now to chance, have a chance to bring taxes down and cut regulations, fund education, empower parents and fund law enforcement. And what we've seen right now, particularly as we head through uh, our March numbers, is continued strength in our government receipts. And we had a strong March. And in fact, what that, what that underpins is we're seeing now some green shoots on job recovery in Virginia. And that's really exciting. We're gonna have a big surplus. And that gives us, that gives us the funds to cut taxes and invest in education, law enforcement, and mental health. And I think this is the common sense approach that Virginians were looking for when they elected us, which is let's get the cost of living down. We're seeing inflation run away uh, from us right now at eight and a half percent over the last over the last year, rising grocery prices, rising gas prices, rising utility bills. And we got to get to work to get costs down. And the, and, the, and the near term opportunity for us is to cut taxes. And in Virginia, we have the ability to do that. And that's why we're working so hard with our legislature to get that done right now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.